News coming to you from the Idol auditions here in Denver, and we've got breaking details on Michael Jackson from just two weeks before he died. In this E! News exclusive, the man who convinced Michael to make a comeback sheds new light on why things ended so tragically. Here's Jason Kennedy with the story. If he didn't pass away, I think he would have really hurt himself. The King of Pop was in no condition to perform 50 London shows. That's according to Michael's former business partner, Jack Wishna, who saw MJ just weeks before he died and is sharing his story exclusively with our Ken Baker. Michael was a little frail. Um, he was a little weak at times. I knew that Michael couldn't work five days a week. The late singer was scheduled to kick off his 50-date This Is It tour last night at London's O2 Arena. Instead, fans flocked to the venue to honor him. But before the London deal, it was another series of shows in Vegas that grabbed Michael's interest. The Moonwalker was living in Ireland at the time and hadn't stepped in the U.S. for 18 months following his 2005 acquittal on child molestation charges. How did you get him to move back and come to Vegas? I said to Michael, I think it's about time that uh, you consider coming back to America if we're going to actually do what I considered at that point in time the greatest comeback in the history of entertainment. Michael liked the idea of headlining a show on the Vegas Strip. So in December 2006, Jack moved Michael and his children into this plush Vegas mansion. How much money did he stand to make? Probably somewhere close to a billion dollars. But the deal fell through for various reasons, including doubts about Michael's health. However, Jack says he saw no signs of the substance abuse others have talked about. I never saw him take any drugs. With the deal off, MJ left Vegas.